Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. We are going to do our stuffed acorn squash tonight. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the squash, of course. Um, I have washed this and <laughs> just drying it. We're going to do an Instant Pot. All the squashes can go in your Instant Pot. And it's quick, fast, you know, and it's perfect every time. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so the Instapot, I'm going to put one and a half cups of water in there. Okay, and then I need my rack. And then we're going to get this ready. Okay, I'm going to point you down. Okay, so. See if I can cut this right. See like the little pointy edge? I'm going to cut that because I want my squash to sit properly. Okay. Now we're going to cut it right in half this way. <laughs> I'm going to fight with it. Let me get my other knife. Hey, it's going to go one way or the other. There we are. I think I got to sharpen that bad boy. I thought it was sharp enough. But okay. And then I just use a grapefruit spoon. And just to get everything out, get your little seeds out. Brian, you know, squash is available any time of the year. We love squash here. Um, yeah, we have it quite often. Not with the dressing and everything in it, but we have a lot of squash. <laughs> like if you have leftover dressing. Now the dressing you're going to use in this is going to be the one that I uh, showed you the other day. I already uploaded that. And it's like I get, what, six servings out of that. So I have plenty to um, stuff the squash with. Okay. So now, put you over to my Instapot. We're just, you're just going to set those right upside down in your pot. If I plug it in, it'll probably work better. What you think? <laughs> All right, you're going to go ahead and close her up. Make sure it's on ceiling. Okay. And my, uh, Everybody's different here. I just push pressure cook and I have to go 10 minutes guys. It's all it's going to take Okay, and then it's gonna it's gonna go all right, so I'm gonna bring it back when this is done um, You can do I don't usually I'll do like a I'll let it after it gets done and it starts counting down um, I let it count to probably five minutes. I'll let it sit, then I'll do a quick release. So I'll bring it back at that point, and then we'll go on. This is really a fast and easy thing. All right, guys, I'll bring you right back. Okay, guys, it has been 10 minutes, and it has, I let it set for five minutes. Now we're going to do a quick release on it, okay? It's not going to take that long. So I'll bring it back when the pin drops. Okay, guys, we're back. It dropped. I can go ahead and release it. Okay. You're just going to take your little squash out. Be careful because they are done. Whoops. A little too done, I think. Oh, my goodness. That's going to give me a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's that one. This is a bad boy that's giving me a problem. Oh, if. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to reconstruct that one. Hey, 
only on my <laughs> channel, right? Okay, look at that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, this one was a little bit thicker. That one was a thin one. So that one shouldn't have went that long. <laughs> All right, now how am I going to do this? Okay, I tell you what. I'm going to... This is going to be mine. My husband will have the other one. <laughs> <laughs> there, I have a butternut square. Check it out. <laughs> okay, so that is done. <laughs> now, when I do my stuffing, I always portion them all out, you know, like the leftovers. So this is a portion. And you're just going to go ahead and put it in your, your little squash, the whole portion. Kind of shove it in there. There we go. No, we gotta get some more of this little goodness in there. There we go. This one I'm just gonna sit over top of it. <laughs> this is so funny. I can't wait for my husband to see this. <laughs> He'll get a kick out of that one. All right. So now, let me wash your hands here real fast. Okay, so now all you have to do with that is throw that in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. That's it. Um, because the squash is cooked, you just want to warm up your stuffing. That's it. That's it. So, okay, and then when it's done, I would put some gravy on it. That's how we usually have it. And if you have leftover uh, gravy from your Thanksgiving, that would be perfect. Just, you know, warm it up and put it on there. I'm going to give you a little hint, though. Okay. Of course, you know, homemade gravy is more points. And you can either use, I think they got, like, slow roasted turkey in the jar. I forget the brand name of it. But I usually get the little packet and I make my own. It's like one cup of water to this, and you just put it on the stove. To make it, even the jar one. When you're warming it up, or this one, put, sprinkle some poultry seasoning in it, and it tastes like it's homemade. People are going to think that you slaved over that stove all day. They don't need to know. You don't have to tell them. But if you want to, go ahead. But that's a secret to making it taste like homemade right there. A little poultry seasoning, and you got it. All right, guys, I hope that you've all enjoyed this, and that's what you can do with a little leftover stuffing. Um, you know, and I even do like when, how I made the dressing the other day, I'll take that, make it the same way. And if I got leftover turkey, I'll chop up the turkey and just throw it in there, you know, and then I serve it with a little gravy on top of the little side of the cranberry relish or the cranberries or whatever, a little, you know, squash on the side, whatever. Okay. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please like, share, comment. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do so and hit the little notification bell and you'll hear every time when I upload, which is very often. All right, guys, that being said, this is about the end of my holiday series for Thanksgiving. Um, I'll be bringing you other recipes. I think I got one more to show and that's a cranberry relish one and that'll be up soon. Um, and then we're just going to go on to other things. So, all right. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and I will be seeing you real soon in my kitchen. Bye for now. See you later. Thank you.